Now we're going to take a look at the bone deformer. Now before we can actually do anything, we need to find our deformation toolbar. And if it's not showing up on your computer right now, you need to go to Windows, Toolbars, and Deformation. And I'm going to start by simply choosing the body part that I want to add my bone deformer to. And then I'm going to turn on, on my rigging toolbar, this button, the rigging tool. Now in my rigging tool I have uh, some tool properties and I have um, something called the automatic mode, the bone and articulation mode, the curve mode, and the envelope mode, as well as this game bone mode, game bone mode, which we can talk about a little bit later. But we're looking for the button called bone and articulation. So you can just select that one if you're following along. And now, when I have my drawing selected, I want to choose where the it's going to rotate from, where the knee is going to be positioned, and where the ankle is positioned. And what that's created is it's created the upper leg bone, this round circle that's the articulation for the knee, and basically the lower leg bone. Now before I turn this rigging tool off, I need to set up the um, knee. And one of the things we can do is if I need to reposition where it sits, I can grab this center, center node and pull it up or pull it down. Or I can make this bigger or smaller by just grabbing the node around the outside. And typically what I like is I like the size of the articulation to somewhat match the size of the vector art. So something maybe that looks a little bit like that. And then I'm just going to move this ankle up a little tiny bit. So we have our offset, or where, where it rotates from, our upper leg bone, our articulation, and our lower leg bone. And that, in a nutshell, is our bone deformer. Now, if I want to see how it works, I just turn this off, and I can grab that stick and rotate it or I can grab the, the end and pull it. And if I need, need be, over time I can change the size of the knee depending on what the pose calls for. Okay, thank you very much. And there'll be more videos on deformers. I hope you're enjoying.